Next, about the relationship of the doshas with Panchamahabhuta and Triguna. In classics, we get a reference that Akasha Maruta Bhyam Vataha. That is, Akasha plus Vayu Mahabhuta constitutes Vata dosha. And with regards to the Triguna, Rajo Bohulam Vayuhu. So, Vata is said to be Rajo Guna Bahulya. So, if we want to consider that, then if there is any Vata Vruddhi in the Sharira, then also you can consider Akasha and Vayu is being increased. For example, if you consider there is gaseous distinction of the abdomen, whatever you say, Admana, Atopa. So, in these conditions and all, there is increase of Vata, indirectly it is increase of Akasha and Vayu. There are different reasons for Admana, Atopa, but generally if you want to consider, then we can give an example like this. Then, Pitta, Agneyam Pittam. Agni Mahabhuta constitutes Pitta Dosha and Triguna Vice, Pittam Sattvaguna Adikyam. Sattvaguna is dominant in Pitta Dosha. And lastly with Kapha, Apratibhyam Slesh Maha, that is Jala plus Prithvi constitutes Kapha Dosha and Tamoguna Adikya. Kapha is having Tamoguna Adikya. If we consider, if we are considering the Pitta Dosha here, the Pitta Dosha is the one which is responsible mainly for Pachana, Pachanat Pittam. So if there is any indigestion, there is any problem in digestion, improper digestion, then whatever the dravyas that we are giving, for example, there is no indigestion, is there, you know, distension of the abdomen, some discomfort, etc, etc. Then, generally, what we take, we take is either we will do upavasa okay, or we can go for Ushnodaka or some other dravyas, jiraka, etc, etc, which helps in kindling the digestive fire or Agni or which is having Agni Mahabhuta predominance. That Ushna Guna or Tikshnata will be dominating such dravyas we will be giving. Medicine wise if we consider then Agni Tundivati is given which is responsible for doing the Amapachana and increasing the Agni so that there is proper digestion. So this is how the Panchabhautika relationship of the Doshas helps in the understanding also as well as the treatment also. If there is any degrees in this Agni Mahabhuta with respect to the Pachana Karma, then we have to understand that Pitta is not functioning properly because there is decrease in the Agni Mahabhuta, hence there is no Pachana. So we have to give certain Dravyas or certain Aharas, we have to suggest, which increases this Agni Mahabhuta in Sharira. So that the normalcy is being restored. So this is how we can we can understand the applied aspects of understanding of this dosic relationship with the Pancha Mahabhutas. If you consider any joint disorders where you can consider that is there is there is decrease in the quantity of synovial fluid and there is you know the degeneration is present in the bones. So we have to give certain dravyas or we have to apply certain medications which will increase the Jala Mahabhuta as well as Prithvi Mahabhuta in the Sandhis. So that normalcy is being restored. So this is how the Panchapautika understanding or relationship with the doshas will be helping as well as in diagnosis, understanding the status, not only with the name but understanding the status of the doshas or Mahabhutas in that particular case and also treating that particular case. If we are considering the relationship of Triguna and Tridosha, so Vata is said to be Rajoguna Bahulya, means it shows instability. Even if we are considering a person who is having Vata Dosha predominance in this body normally, without any, you know, has, if we give an example of Vata is, you know, 60% Pitta is uh, 20 and Kapha is 20. So Vata is 60%, so he will be having Vatic Dosha predominance, and this is not any harming him uh, for his health, but he will be having predominance of Rajas, Manasika wise also. Because this three, do, three, whatever you say, three Gunas, that is Sattva Rajas and Tamas are also called as Mano Gunas. So this Rajas, whatever it is there, it is responsible for instability. So those persons who are having normally Vata Dosha dominance, then they will be having instability of the mind. They will be having, you know, thoughts will be jumping from one to another. 
we can't sit in one normally in one place their hands eyes or body parts will be moving now and then so this shows totally the rajasik quality and if you consider a uh, doshik a body where doshik proportion is reversed like kapha is 60% and pitta and vata are 20 20 so in such cases what happens is to manasika wise also he will be having kapha dosha predominance we can consider indirectly tamo dosha predominance because among the manogunas rajas and tamas are considered as mano doshas so this tamasika is responsible for ignorance or we can consider it as a laziness so he will be very timid he will be very slow etc this is a normal status or normal behavior of that particular person this we are speaking about normally but in case if we get an individual where his normal prakriti is having vatic dosha predominance that is vata is 60 pitta kapha is 20 20 if we consider in such cases because of its ahara vihara or any other influence where there is a reverse in the doshic proportion instead of 60% of vata there is 60% of kapha it means that normally he is very active but now from few days he is he is inactive he is manda he is timid in doing activities it means there is some abnormality so this is how we are differentiating between the normal status as well as abnormal status if from the birth itself if a person is hyperactive then we have to consider that it is normalcy but a hyperactive person suddenly becomes timid and slow then we have to consider that there is some abnormal doshic influence and this has to be treated in the way it should be that is sharirika dosha wise and its relations with manasika doshas that should be considered